Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about this beauty oil. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I received this two boxy charms ago, so I want to say August boxy charm. Um, I have been playing around with this, and I mean, I think you can tell this from the title of the video. I have been mixing this with my foundation, and I have been having the best experience. So like spoiler alert on this review off the bat. Uh, but I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this product. I wanted to show you how I've been using it. I wanted you to get good and close up with my skin to see how this is making my foundation look and just tell you all the good stuff and whether or not you may want to spend your hard earned money on this product. So as I mentioned, this product is from Wander Beauty. I've done reviews on their products before, and I will leave the link to those reviews down below, or the links, I should say. Some of their products have worked amazingly for me, some of them have just been so-so, uh, but it's a brand that I think does things generally pretty well. Now, from what I can tell, if you buy this from Wander Beauty's website in the States, it's in the low $40 range, although it looks like they may be sold out at the moment. However, if you buy this through Sephora here in Canada, it's going to cost you just over $50, $50.40. So it is expensive for the 0.84 ounces. So it's a little less than a full ounce of product. Um, it is pricey. <laughs> so is it worth it? Wonder Beauty says, bring out skin's inner radiance with our illuminating oil. Light diffusing pigments deliver instant luminosity while a potent blend of our signature beauty oils and antioxidants help brighten, moisturize, and improve the appearance of skin over time. Castor and black currant seed oil help restore skin's natural moisture balance, and niacinamide helps even skin tone and retain moisture. They say it's suitable for all skin types. I only have the one skin type to test it on. I am sort of normal combination. It says, always free of parabens, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, and mineral oil, and that it is cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan-friendly. When I first saw this face oil, I was a little concerned about using it as a skincare product, and I will show you why. When I dispense it here, focus in on my hand, that is not the color necessarily that I want my skincare to be. I mean, you know, you're not going to naturally get that color, that pink right there. Um, you know, there's there's some ingredients in there to make it that color and make it look more pleasing. I prefer if there aren't any sort of artificial colors or unnecessary colors, I should say, or um, fragrance in my skincare. But somebody in the comments mentioned um, mixing this into foundation and I have been doing that so that's how I've been using it. So this review is going to talk about using it as a mix-in for your foundation and before I blab on too much how about we just skip over to watching me apply it. I'm going to demo this today with my Sephora makes no I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Sephora make no mistake foundation and concealer stick and I'm doing that because of all my foundations, this one tends to be the most, it, it gets the most cakey looking during the day and definitely does not have a dewiness to it. It's very matte to start with. And I just wanted to show you out of all the foundations this works with that it also works quite well, very well with the stick foundation. We'll zoom in just a touch. I do shake up the oil. I don't know if you need to, but it makes me feel better to do that. So I'm gonna start with Ooh, drawing on the foundation. I think the best thing about stick foundation is getting to draw on your face. Uh, one of the things that I also do with this when I'm using it is I do also use it as my concealer. I won't be pulling the oil up under my eyes because I want to stay a bit thicker under there, but this is the way I do my makeup when I use this and that's what I want to show you. And then I'm going to take the oil and I do love the dropper on here. Nothing dispenses until you want it to. And you can get very good control over the number of drops. <laughs> I'm going to do this in a mirror instead of just on my camera viewfinder to actually do this properly. So I dispense just a drop of oil or even a little less than a drop of oil four places around my face, just over top of the foundation. I maybe did a little bit there, so I'll start there and move it around. 
What I meant to say is I did a bit more there than I probably should have. Now I am going to use a paddle foundation brush. I do find, especially for stick foundations, that this does the best job of sort of blending and moving things around. I also just in general tend to like dense brushes for uh, putting on foundation. I find if you don't dispense too much foundation to start with that a brush works quite well. Um, a sponge is good if you tend to over apply foundation because the reason it looks good is it sucks up some of the excess product. Um, but if you're a little gentler with your application, you don't necessarily need that. So I'm just working around blending it out and down blending onto the neck as well. But I hope you can see already that this is shearing it out and making it dewier and making it very skin like. Now the other place that I'll be skipping is my lids. I tend to use a little bit of the um, MAC Paint Pot on there, so I don't necessarily need to, sometimes I'll drag foundation over it just to keep it all sort of looking the same color, but I'll either use foundation or an eye primer, because otherwise my lids would be weirdly the wrong color from my face. And the oil, <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. The oil does help everything blend really nicely. I'm just going to use my finger to blend in some of that concealer. So there we go. It has taken this stick foundation. It's made it look very natural because it sort of sheared everything out. You can still see my freckles coming through, but there is definite coverage there. It's evened everything out and you can hopefully see that sheen. I'm gonna zoom you in even closer so you can see how skin-like this is. You know, on my forehead, it's just giving me a beautiful moisturized looking sheen and it's looking a little more reflective. Um, in the light there than it does in real life. It looks a little oilier on camera than it actually does because I don't look or feel oily in real life at all. I just look, oh, I'll out here. I just look like I have really dewy skin. Now, because I've added the oil to this, it's not gonna set on its own. I do end up powdering over top, but it still somehow keeps that really pretty dewiness. And it just helps everything blend out, look beautiful, keeps it from being cakey, and almost like this is my secret weapon to make any foundation into the kind of foundation that I like, which is that you know, color correcting, still freckles coming through, looks like my skin, but better kind of look. Uh, so I'm gonna go get on the rest of my makeup and then be back. In the demo, I used it with the stick foundation. I have also used it quite well with my um, CoverGirl um, Active Foundation. Oh, I'm gonna forget the name of it. Um, with a couple of different foundations that tend to be a little more high coverage in order to bring it back to being um, you know, very glowy and just very natural looking. So I finished off my look today, <clears throat> excuse me, with doing a little bit of like under eye uh, brightening with my uh, Park Avenue Princess palette and then very lightly powdered with uh, my Pretty Vulgar powder and then did a little bit of blush and contour. But I haven't put any um, uh, highlighter on my face at all and I just want to zoom you in to show you my skin. So even with powdering over top, I am still getting a really nice natural looking glow and my skin is looking very much like my natural skin. And I've worn this all day and it doesn't sort of bunch up or cake. The oil keeps it looking very natural. If anything, I do find I start to look a little maybe too glowy by the end of the day, but for me, I don't mind that. It doesn't look oily. It just looks like I have a real glow. So I love this mixed in with foundation. And if you are like me and you look for things that are really going to hydrate, look very skin-like, and you don't mind your foundation having sort of a lighter coverage to it, I think you'll love this too. I mention all the time that I am 40. I'm actually turning 41 in less than a week. 
next Wednesday. Um, so I really love this stuff that really adds hydration and makes my skin look plump and um, glowy and youthful. And this really does that. Now, I guess the question would be, do you need to use this? Like, could I go and get my ordinary face oil or ordinary rosehip seed oil and mix it in? I haven't tried that yet. I feel like this has a less oily texture to it. I really do like the dropper on here that you get so much control, but also it really keeps the germs out. You're not taking a dropper in and out of a container. And they do really market this as being illuminating. There is the sort of pink color to it. There is, you know, the glow that it gives. It's just, I really like it for that. And also because it does have that really controlling tip for the oil, I do think it will go a long way because you can really um, hone in on just the amount that you want and not too much. So I think I would recommend this if you can't buy this because of the price tag, then you know try another face oil. But this one, if you can afford it or if you have it and you've not been mixing it into your foundations, I would do it because this is just gorgeous and I am loving how my skin looks lately. Like loving, loving, loving. I've been having those moments where like I stop and see myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I really like how this is all looking today. And a big part of that has been my skin and how beautiful, moisturized, plumped and dewy it looks all day. And this is my little secret over the last few weeks. So thank you so much for joining me for this today. I would love to hear your comments down below about if you've tried this or what other perhaps better priced face oils you may mix into foundation that have a similar feel and look to them. Uh, leave all that in the comments down below. I do try to answer every comment that is made on any of my videos. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you give this a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!